everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Bramble Fox. I am using the August Fox Box for this layout um, and um, I have gone for a beach theme and I've got that fabulous summer shenanigans yellow title um, set aside to use. Um, so I'm using the Just Beachy collection by Simple Stories which I've had for a while and uh, I have kept trying to use this sea creature paper that you can just about see there in the background um, and I've never managed to, to use it. Um, so today is the day that I managed to use it. <laughs> so it's, it's because it's a difficult sheet to use. It's got lots of different creatures all over it. It's very busy, it's lots of different colours and it's on a white background so it doesn't read as a solid. Um, so I've struggled to use it but I've determined to get it on a, on a page because it's just fabulous. Um, so I have um, trimmed my white cardstock down to quite a bit, I think 10 and a half inches square, uh, distress the edges and I'm going to pop that on top of the sea creature paper. So I know that you don't see a big part of it but you do see all those creatures around the edges. So so yeah. Um, and I've picked out a piece of yellow paper to go across the middle. I'd already, I've, I'm really down to quite a lot of scraps for this uh, collection. Um, so I had that piece cut already um, that I didn't use as something else or maybe it's an off cut. Um, so um, that was just I haven't even had to do anything with that. I just picked it up and put it on the layout. <laughs> uh, distress the edges. Um, I've got a couple of tags. Uh, I've got that whole tag sheet uh, cut up in a pile ready and waiting to use. Um, and lots of floral ephemera. I think I'm on my third pack of floral ephemera uh, for this collection. Um, and um, you can see I'm going to have that summer shenanigans um, title sitting atop, along the top of the yellow. Um, I've got the two tags layered um, and I've kind of created a couple of embellishment clusters uh, top left and bottom right um, and then I'm going to put in those fabulous items from the August Fox box so the turtle at the top there the crab and the two starfish um, I love all the etch details the crab is actually so cute he's got little bubbles on him and and he's got a little smiley face it's very adorable and the turtle is very cute too uh, with its shell details so um, and, and the starfish too they've got details on too so um, I really do love the etching I think it's lovely um, okay and I've also picked out crazy fun um, so that's another title from the August Fox box um, it's a white title um, so therefore I feel that it needs to go on a color um, now that yellow in the background is quite light um, so I was a bit worried it wouldn't show up very well um, but actually it looks in real life it looks fine um so yeah so you can see that I've got my basic design kind of coming together um but I felt that I wanted to put some uh, stenciling onto the layout so um just before I stuck my middle piece down which I've raised up on foam pads I have um placed it there and I'm going to create this kind of cluster sorry not cluster this um glow behind my clusters um I did a little tester um, of my ink color underneath the middle of the layout there you can see that see where I've done that um, and um, yes yeah, so I'm just using the, the kind of it's a kind of like a quilted stencil and it's from the August Fox Box Plus um, and um, what I'm doing is I'm going over the stencil um, with the um, ink um, and um, then I'm going over the top of the stenciling uh, with the same color ink just lighter um, so that it re so it's you know it doesn't have all the white bits um, showing through quite as prominently um, and I just feel that that kind of dulls it down a bit and, and it's, it's like a pattern paper isn't it like I said about earlier with the all the sea creatures all over it and a white background it doesn't read as a solid same with the stenciling so when you've got all that white shining through um, it doesn't read as a solid area of color um, so therefore to make that work better for me anyway um, I just go over it with um, with the same color ink lighter and that makes it all kind of tone on tone but you can still see the pattern of the stenciling so for me that's the perfect solution for using stencils that have openings that are quite large I mean this one isn't but um, some of them are um, okay so um, you can see that I've just layered my two tags together there and I've put some trim through um, the top one uh, a couple of different ones I've got orange and pink in there um, and then I'm just going to add my photo there and build up my clusters so I'd already kind of figured out where they were going to go but I just wanted to um, rearrange them make sure that they all showed up okay against the stenciling um, so there we go that's all kind of stuck down now and now I'm just going to add some extra bits and pieces in so from the simple stories uh, fussy cut sea creatures um, and um, ephemera bits and that kind of stuff I'm just adding some some extra things in there um, they just add or complement the really cute perspectives from the August Fox box. Um, obviously there's a turtle up in the top cluster, 
and I've added a little octopus um, and a crab in a shell. And over on the right hand side, I've added the snorkel and mask um, and some fish are gonna go on in just a moment. Um, so, um, so yeah, it's just a case of kind of, they can all kind of complement each other. Um, and um, yeah, um, we're on the beach, so snorkel and mask works really well. Um, we didn't, I don't know if we did do any snorkeling that day, but they certainly all went in the sea. You can see they've got life jackets on. They're uh, about to go on the sea sofa. Um, <laughs> I think, think it might have been Max's birthday. Um, and uh, yeah, we had a really good day. So, um, so yeah. So anyway, um, just getting everything stuck down now, adding on some fish. I'm using stickers, but I'm going to raise them on foam pads. Um, oh, I ran into a bit of a problem with my title. So it says summer shenanigans. Um, I, I raised my um, the yellow block of pattern paper in the middle. I raised it on foam pads. And then, of course, I couldn't put my summer shenanigans sitting right on top um, because they were different le levels. So I have a bit of a gap where the descending letters um, have to sit on the top edge of that yellow paper instead of instead of the main body of the letters. Um, so I was a bit annoyed that I'd done that because that was just a really rookie mistake. <laughs> I've done it lots of times before. And uh, when I went to add my title, I was like, oh no. <laughs> so never mind. So I've got those little white gaps that I'm not overly happy with. But I didn't want to tuck the descending letters under the... Uh, paper. I wanted to keep the detail, um, so um, it had to it had to float. It had to be a floater. <laughs> um, okay, so the crazy fun title I say I was worried about because it was white on that very yellow, oh, light yellow paper. Um, but actually, it shows up fine in real life. Um, I've stuck that down. I made sure my uh, photo was stuck flat. Um, so that I didn't have the same problem I did with the Summer Shenanigans title. Um, and I've just stuck that down with the arrow pointing towards the photo. Um, and now I'm just adding in a few sequins. I'm using Spiegel Mum Scrap sequins. They're so pretty. Um, in These are perfect tropical colours. We've got turquoises and uh, pinks and oranges. It's just lovely. Um, all goes really well. So I'm just going to get all of those um, stuck in place. Just using glossy accents. Um, I use a paper piercing tool to pick them up out of the way. So I just put a little bit of glue on the end of my paper piercing tool and that makes it sticky enough to pick up the sequins. Doesn't work for anything heavier, but it does work for sequins. Um, and um, yeah, there we go. All of those are done. Um, and um, now I just have to finish off now. I had a little moment where I thought I should extend my stenciled area and then it totally looked awful when I did it. Um, so yeah, I stopped quick smart and it still doesn't look right. I'm looking at it now and it really, really doesn't blend in. Um, so uh, yeah, I don't quite know what happened there. But um, anyway, <laughs> thankfully it hasn't ruined it completely, but uh, could have done. Um, and I'm just finishing off by adding some white splatters of paint. And there we go, all finished. Um, yeah, I hope that you liked seeing how this layout came together. Oh, I should have mentioned that I put orange ink around the edge of my middle uh, white square. Just to give it a bit of extra definition. Lots of little stickers in there. Um, and um, yeah, all, all done. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, that was Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox using the August Fox Box.